Hi guys, Avid is back with another FIFA 16 Virtual Pro lookalike tutorial. Today I'm feeling much better guys. I am re I'm getting over the transition between medications. I'm on medications because I suffer with chronic pain, which gives me mood swings guys, okay? But I'm being a man about it and I'm trying to get something done about it. And I'm suffering the consequences by having to trial medications to see which one is going to work best for me and unfortunately the ones that I've just been on are poisoning me and that's exact that's my doctor's terms um, we need to come off these tablets because it seems like they were poisoning you which is why I've been feeling so ill and I wanted to do this pro lookalike because it's something different it's had someone ask me to do it I do believe I may have had this request before um, and I just thought, oh, do you know, I'd really love to see if I could do it and see what that would look like. Um, obviously, it's the ref, Bear Luigi Colina. Ignore the kit, guys. It's the closest kit I could get to a referee's kit, basically, because there's not many socks, just have the white tops. Um, I'm really happy with this, guys. But... Um, I want to talk about a few things while I'm going through the settings of the video so I'm gonna turn the video around I'm not really gonna talk about the pro and obviously the feedback on this video is probably not gonna to be too much about the pro but what I'm gonna be saying so yeah guys basically what I want to talk about is what's been happening over the last few weeks um, I feel more um, um, stable more resistant to any hate I'm going to get from this because I'm going to get hate obviously and it's understandable because I'm take I could be ta potentially threatening someone's oh, livelihood because they're not earning from it obviously but basically I am getting inundated with people wanting me to restart AVPL now the reason is obviously because of uh, the VFL site being down I've offered many times to help out the VFL and that is with genuine genuine intentions to help them um, they can't seem to let things go this time I do kind of worry because it's now I don't want to turn this into a war video because it's surely not intended for that but I do worry now that now they really don't want nothing to do with me they don't want me on their website or anything like that because they've got what they wanted. What they wanted is they wanted AVPL finished and they wanted all AVPL managers as their managers. They have that now. They got that now without me. Well, kind of without me, but not without me. Do you know what I mean? It was me that set up the transition period. That was me that gave the managers the teams that they've mainly got in VFL now. Um, but it was me that left them in the lurch and didn't go with them and I uh, fully understand the annoyance about that but the thing is is that people are probably only asking me because they can't play VFL they can see that we're playing midweek in VPL and I must stress VPL has nothing to do with me I just support it guys now Denzel is a fantastic owner VPL um, is a breath of fresh air for me because it's done what I've always wanted to do guys and that is take away that barrier of us and them VFL AVPL whatever if you're not VFL basically you're a cunt that kind of attitude it don't need to be like that guys it, it really don't why is it like that yeah with with my I've made decisions, I've made bad decisions at the time, uh, I've done things at the time thinking they were the right decisions and for the right reasons and over time you, you got the luxury of hindsight which is what I've had. Um, my intention was always to try and make amends with VFL, help them in any way I can without any reward, without any recognition, even just be silent in the background just playing but also helping them out where needed um, but I'm constantly getting knocked back and even to the point of where I'm getting accused of 
ragging about their site being taken down, I take no pleasure whatsoever in the VFL website being down. Because I know 99.9% .9 of you playing in the VFL just want to play your games, you just want to play. But I've offered them a, an outcome and a option that could basically leave DDoS attackers, hackers, whatever you want to call it, whoever they are, just fed up and bored. And basically what that would be is like last night for instance, a lot of my friends were ready to play their games last night in VFL and their games got called off on Twitter. Now, the system I was off from VFL would have made them games playable last night. And what would that have done? It would have sent a message to the hacker saying, do you know what, fuck you. You took our website down, but you won't stop us playing our games. But no, you went and called your games off again. And that is just pissing people off. Fight back for fuck's sake. You know, do something. Throw them a curveball. They ain't gonna be able to ever take down Google Docs, guys. You know, so put in a system where if anything goes down on the website, you've got a system in place via Skype where teams can send their lineups to an admin. Each admin is designated a group of games. They're your games. You must monitor the lineups. And then let the managers do their own stats on a Google Doc. For fuck's sake. Done. You've got your lineups. Then you go back and check their rosters. They've already done their stats. You transfer their stats onto the main roster. And it's done. Your games are played. Your season is nearly finished. You can finish the season. Take a break. Get your website sorted. And bang. You're done. You're done. Everybody's happy. Everybody then. Not everybody, obviously. Is not coming to me. Begging me to restart my own league. Ideally... I don't know if I can deal with the stress, not the stress, or deal with it even. I don't know if I want, if I want it. But, as a YouTuber, as somebody that has followers from YouTube that like information, and as a YouTuber you're supplying information for people, so if I put things on my Twitter, it's to give my followers information. Nothing else, not hatred or nothing like that. And if there's enough of you that want it, I'm going to have to seriously, seriously think about it. So, what I'm really saying is, is that it's kind of up to you, VFL. You can just stand back and look like you're doing something in the background by getting your website up every 10 minutes, only for it to go back down again. Getting everybody ready, getting people home early from work when they're doing an extra shift because they didn't think they were going to have games. Only for the games to then be called off again. Now that is not stability. Now people left AVPL to join VFL for stability. And now you've not got stability. If you wouldn't have refused my offer of help, you would have still got this season finished. And it would be done and dusted on time already. So I want your members to think of that. Okay? Because all you have to do is get season 20 out of the way with, yes, it was a milestone season. It's become, turned out to be an absolute nightmare for you. It could have been different. You could have got it finished. You could have then took, said, right, guys, we are now going to take two weeks off. And we won't be back until we know the site is no longer being attacked. End off. Do you know what I mean? I just want to help. And if... Me sending you messages off and you my help is begging. So be it. And you can shame me on Twitter if you like. I'm doing it on YouTube now. But what I'm saying now is, I don't know if I really want to come back to VFL now. Because there's so many people that are actually not happy there. And they do actually want AVPL back. So it's up to you. Anyway guys, sorry about the rant. I hope you liked the video. See you next time.